This week, the NHS launched a new 10-year long-term plan. The long-term plan was a result of significant consultation with the public, with families, with carers, and with the NHS itself. It sets out some ambitious goals for how we're gonna improve the NHS in the next year, the next five years, and the next 10 years. I'm delighted that we've got a significant focus on health and well-being, prevention, physical community services, mental health, and learning disabilities. We know that the needs of people today are around their mental, physical, and social needs all being met so that they can stay well, they can flourish, and they can be at home. This means that growing investment in mental health services, learning disability services, and the community, as well as primary care, is a priority. And it's good to see that priority backed by real and meaningful change in each of those sectors. Secondly, as the lead chief executive for the partnership, it's good to see the role of integrated care systems in delivering the plan. We've been given the role of making sure that by this summer, we can set out what difference we're gonna to make to people across West Yorkshire and Harrogate. That'll be informed by all of the work we've done already as a partnership in looking at how we meet the needs of people today and in the future. The backing of a partnership made up of councils, the NHS and communities, supported by the third and the independent sectors, is a really positive move as we seek to have sustainable health and care in West Yorkshire and Harrogate. Finally, I've been involved in the drafting of the plan as one of the people leading the work stream on learning disabilities and autism. Having learning disability services and services for people with autism highlighted in the plan underlines something which I think is fundamental to the future of health and care. And that is if you get it right for people with a learning disability and you can differentiate services to meet their needs, you deliver the kind of personalised care which would mean you get it right for everybody. And the application of standards for people with learning disability across all of our services in the future, which make that a reality, is really welcome. As a trust chief executive, as someone leading a partnership, as someone who's got a specific interest in people with learning disability and autism, the plan is a good thing. And to make the, the plan a reality, we now need to make sure that we see the way that funding is going to be allocated, the specific targets that we see each year, so we can get on and start making significant change. To make that a reality, we also need to recognise that there are some things which we don't yet know. These things will be essential to our success, and they are, what is the future for adult social care? What will the green paper on that topic say, and where will the funding come from? And how will local government be funded so that our public health services and services on housing, education and the environment can be delivered in ways which support a sustainable system. As local government is a joint partner and a full partner in the work that we do, I know that everybody working in local government, everybody working in the NHS and everyone in our communities will be looking forward to positive news on those areas in the same way as we've seen positive news in the NHS. I believe we've got a chance, the best chance for at least a decade to now meet the needs of people in the 21st century and as an integrated care system that's working at the very forefront of health and care I think West Yorkshire and Harrogate can and will succeed. Happy New Year everybody.